Well, there are still a lot of questions when it comes to just how COVID-19 affects some people and not so much others who well, barely seem to get sick at all while others die. NBC Force Patrick Healy is going to join us live right now. And Patrick, today I understand you spoke with three of the leading researchers in all of this. Patrick? We did, uh, Chuck and Colleen, and the questions are super important because the answers could reveal ways to lessen the spread and impact of COVID. And the research is revealing that a key element may be something inside all of our bodies, not just antibodies, but also T cells. Behold the T cell. Some are natural born killers of viruses once it learns what it's looking for. And you know this villain, the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID, is one of the identified coronaviruses, four of them known to cause the common cold from which we've all recovered multiple times. Now, evidence that sometimes leads to mistaken identity. About 50% of people have uh, immune memory from those common cold infections that can cross-react against against SARS-2. Dr. Shane Crotty and Alessandro Sete had the research team at the La Jolla Institute that's now looking to the next step. Can this T-cell cross-reaction okay. help you handle COVID or even not get sick? The more likely uh, hypothesis that we like to entertain is that you have a little bit of a head start because of this uh, memory uh, but as common as is the common cold, they found not everyone hangs on to their helper T cells. Some have speculated that this may explain, at least in part, why so many infected with so deadly a disease do not develop symptoms. The notion that this T cell memory may further lead to immunity has little support. T cells are not antibodies. In general, probably antibodies have more of a role in preventing infection. MD Otto Yang is Associate Chief of Infectious Diseases at UCLA's David Gethin School of Medicine. He studies T cells in his lab and believes further research may lead to amplifying their role in responding to COVID. But T cells may not make them immune from getting infected in the first place and spreading it to others. In areas that have seen explosive COVID spread suddenly leveling off, such as New York City and Northern Italy, the medical scientists who spoke with us suspect increased response is a more likely explanation than herd immunity having been attained. Generally, almost all the conversations I've heard about herd immunity are, are wishful thinking by, by non-scientists. And for the near term, perhaps until a vaccine, they see no silver bullet sparing us the need for continuing public health precautions. Dr. Yang points out that T-cell cross-reactivity is not necessarily positive. In some cases, it may have a negative effect. It may confuse the T-cells. They may focus on the old disease rather than the new one. Clearly, there's a lot of research going on in this area. Reporting live, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News. Chuck For Colleen. sure. All right. Thank you very much, Patrick.